Hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Healy here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Isel Longoria. Poly Playbook starts right now. Cal Poly men's soccer played against Cal State Fullerton on Saturday. A penalty from Fullerton midfielder Diego Sanchez caused the winning point, breaking Cal Poly's five-game winning streak. Junior goalkeeper Simon Boemi added two saves for Cal Poly. The Mustangs fought hard throughout the game, but fell short, losing to Fullerton 0-1. Men's soccer will now head over to play UC Irvine on Thursday and CSUN on Saturday. The women's soccer team had a similar story against UC Riverside. Both teams were tied 0-0 in the first half, when just 20 minutes into the game, junior Chelsea Berry hit the first shot on goal attempt. UC Riverside hit the game-winning shot during the second half, beating Cal Poly 1-0. Both teams produced 15 shots throughout the game. The women's team will now play against UC Davis on Thursday at 4 p.m. Mitch Henniger, who played baseball for Cal Poly, is making an impact in the majors for the Seattle Mariners. Since returning from the disabled list after being hit in the face with a 95-mile-per-hour fastball, Henniger has been dialed in at the plate. In his first game back on August 19th, Mitch crushed his first career Grand Slam home run. And in the final month of the 2017 MLB regular season, Henniger hit 365 with eight doubles and tripled 14 RBIs and seven home runs. Cal Poly baseball coach Larry Lee had high praise for the former Mustang. For, for what he's accomplished, and you just hope that he can stay injury free, continue to put up the numbers he does, uh, and then he could have a very long, successful major league career. In his rookie season with the Mariners, Henniger batted two to 82 with 16 home runs and 47 RBIs in just 96 games played. The Cal Poly men's basketball team had their first official practice on Friday, September 29th. The Mustangs have three returning starters from last year's team. And during the offseason, Cal Poly added three transfers and signed three new freshmen. Cal Poly fans will get their first look at the new team when the program hosts the annual Green vs. Gold matchup on Saturday, October 14th at 4.30 p.m. inside Mott Athletics Center. Adley and Tor Tori Van Winden have played on the same volleyball team since they were seven, but that all changed last year. Outside hitter Adley Van Winden is going into her third year at Cal Poly and her sister Tori joined the team as a sophomore. Their parents both attended and played sports at Cal Poly, which was a large influence in Adley's decision to come here. Tori, however, started off at UCLA and made the transfer to the Mustangs because she felt like something was missing. Last year was my first year ever playing away from her since I was seven years old. And so it was, it's, I didn't realize how much of a part of it was like, just, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. It's just, we have this kind of bond on the court. And when I was taken away from that setting, it was, it felt like a whole new game to me. Ali and Tori will also be able to play side by side during the beach volleyball season. The Mustangs are 13 and 2 with a 10 game winning streak. Cal Poly men's swim team hosted USC on Saturday, September 30th, in the first dual meet of the season. Brian Whittington notched two wins while Alex Nicolia of David Hudson and Nolan Newland each won one race. Overall, Cal Poly had 16 swimmers finish in the top three of the 12 in individual swimming events. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, or you can log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Isel Longoria. Have a great rest of your week.